Welcome to Silicon Valley Asian Business Talk. So Dr. Conwell Ricky, and uh, welcome, and thank you for coming to talk to us. We really appreciate you spending time with us. Yeah, thank you for inviting me, and it's my pleasure. So Dr. Ricky, why don't you kind of briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm Conwell Ricky. Yeah, I've been here in the Valley since 1971. Hardcore engineer by training, IIT Bombay, and became an entrepreneur in 1982. Yeah, at the dawn of the PC revolution, networking revolution, yeah, we pioneered the computer networking. Yeah, our company was a pioneer in the computer networking, and so we drew you know, with with the networking. We were the side of the foundational technologies for the internet and went public in 1987, first Indian American to take company public in 87. And uh, our company was eventually acquired by Novell, so I was at Novell you know, for about five years, six years, and, uh, and, and yeah, retired in 1995, early mm -hmm. on, and became active in the startup ecosystem, mentoring entrepreneurs, help start tie, and uh, you know, you know, interest you know, Indian Americans to become entrepreneurs rather than, than you know, you know, uh, job seekers. And I've been doing that now for 25, 27 years. Discussion topic, unique advantages of Asian immigrants. Well, maybe we kind of uh, uh, switch a uh, little bit kind of a uh, gear to uh, the Asian culture background, because you know I represent the uh, Asian Innovation Business Center. So, the first question in that particular category is: uh, Do you think uh, your Asian culture background uh, make you kind of a different in approaching running new venture business? You know, compared with the non-Asian culture mm. entrepreneurs. So, so I came to U.S. when I was very young. Mm. You know, I did my master's here. I worked for about 10 plus years you know, before I tried my head at entrepreneurship. Mm. I you know, come from a non-business family in India. You know, family, my, my dad was in the army. Mm. So, so it wasn't that I brought any business cultural sense, but, but if I was to replace the word Asian with immigrant. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. The immigrants, have solved this survival problem anyway. Yeah. You know, like I told you about Chicago, you know, I, I have no fallback position. I have no family. I cannot tell anybody to send me the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have to make it happen, right? Yeah, so you do whatever you need to do to survive. Mm. So immigrants have that starting point, right? And it, it appears that uh, the Asian, you know, and, uh, and with that I mean Chinese and Indians in this case, have very competitive upbringing, large populations, you know, up limited opportunities. So they're very competitive. They go for the opportunity. Mm. If I didn't do it, somebody else will take it. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, definitely true in India. Yeah. So, so, so we are, we are very competitive for that reason alone, and, and that serves us very, very well in America. You know, we are focused on survival, we are focused on you know, a, you know, doing it before somebody else does, you know, you know, taking it before somebody else takes it. And afterwards, you know, there are very low expectations of us. People don't think we can do it, or, mm -hmm. or, or we, you know, they don't take us seriously. You know, and as a result, you know, the pressure is off. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. And so, when I was an entrepreneur, nobody thought. Yeah, you know, everybody laughed. Yeah, you know, he be an entrepreneur. You know, Indians are not entrepreneurs. Indians are not not managers. They are. They don't know how to sell. They don't know how to market. You know, so you you are underestimated, and, and and that allows you your as a competition. You know, they ignore you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it gives you a little bit of you know, extra breathing space, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, so I have found you know, the, both you know, Indians and Chinese have done really well because of those reasons. 
you know, whether we have a superior business knowledge or superior business methods, I am not sure. Mm. Interesting. So it seems to me you're suggesting two very important points. One is the pressure for survival, mm. kind of make uh, you know people like you really work hard to find solutions. Do whatever you need to do. Yeah, do whatever. Yeah. The second one, it's interesting, you say the expectation is very low, so that takes the pressure off yeah. and give you the space to explore and mm. grow. Yeah, yeah. Nobody thought I could do it. Mm. That's yeah. interesting. Thank you for watching.